My name is Killer Keemstar, and I'm here with... Only Use Me Blood. This is the Bad Kid Cast, the audio cast that you listen to... While you game. We are available on iTunes, Spreaker, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Stitcher. We are available everywhere. We want to know where you're hearing us from. Hit us up on the Twitters, twitter.com slash keemstarx and twitter.com slash onlyusemeblade. We have our uh, permanent guest here. What's your name? Uh, Jake and Martin. Josh. Josh is in the house. You guys know Josh. Josh Hype. Josh Hype. And then we actually have another person on the cast. Uh, what is your name? Trevor from PA Line. Okay. And Trevor, uh, what are you doing here on the cast? Like, how did, how did you end up here? Just hanging out. <laughs> I know uh, all of you pretty much from past experiences at bars. So, so Trevor. <laughs> Let's interrupt this. Trevor Just completely is put him on the spot. My, <laughs> Trevor is my landlord's brother. So yeah, that's, that's how I originally met him. First time I met him, he was like, uh, "You want me to, you want me to play you a song?" And I was like, "What?" Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was like one of the first things. Yeah, I'm great like, pickup line. It was not. Like but that. here's the thing, though, bro. I didn't know you were an actual musician. I just thought you were a dude that had a hobby of playing guitar. Like that's how I thought it was. So I'm like, he really had the hots for you. I'm like, that's really it's weird true. that this dude would like, like within the first 20 minutes of, of talking to me, want to like strum me a tune, you know? <laughs> so I'm just like, that's kind of fucking odd. But then I like, as I got to know him. That's like his life. Like you're a musician, you have a band. Like that's like what you're doing, and he takes it super serious. So now it, it wasn't that awkward. It's for him too to... bad that your music sucks. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we, we got to work on something that people would enjoy. No, um, I did hear a track. I thought it was good. Um, yeah, we got to get. Where can the, where can our fans find you? Uh, we got a facebook.com slash pa line band, or we got uh, soundcloud.com slash pa line band. Do you have a Twitter? PA I do have a Twitter. I'm, it's a T stripping. It's at you know. The yeah, but what is it? So people can follow you. Like a lot of people watch this show. Oh, uh, a yeah, lot. Yeah, follow us. Just spell it out. What the fuck? It was T S T R I B I N G. Okay. Kay. All right. Yeah. We'll have to follow him or something. Yeah. Follow him. Say hi to Trevor. Um. So guys, every single person that's watching this bad kid cast right now is probably saying, "When are they going to talk about White Boy?" Right. So let's just get right into it. Um, there might be a few people that actually don't know, but I think everybody knows because most of you, you know, follow Drama Alert or Twitter or something. Uh, YouTuber known as White Boy Seven Street, part of the gaming community, was streaming, and apparently he was swatted when the police came to his house. Um, they came with drug sniffing dogs, mm -hmm. and they found anywhere between one point five to seventeen. Ounces of marijuana. It's a good amount of weed for two people in a house. <laughs> so his girlfriend, K-pop, and white boy, uh, got arrested on felony drug charges, which is insane because from point A till right now, everything that's happened has happened in front of the community. Now, obviously, Drama Lords helped out, but I mean, even the how we even knew about it. Like the Drum alert, here to help out. <laughs> well, you know, In other get, words, we're here to fuck you over if you get arrested. That's not true. <laughs> I hate when people say that. Somebody accused me today. They said, uh, dude, I feel like you're taking advantage of the situation. I go, well, you need to understand that me covering the story and getting the community their news is the same thing as me taking advantage of a situation. Because I must take advantage of a situation in order to get the community their news. Like this it's person the same sent CNN death take it, too. Okay, taking like advantage funny. of the situation were to make um, K-pop and white boy shirts that say like like wanted or like like make t-shirts of their mug shots. I'm just that would saying, be taking advantage of the it's situation. It's like, um, okay, imagine if a new Call of Duty comes out and people like get it the day it comes out, makes videos about it the day it comes out and uploads a video the day it comes out. Do We're I go to those advantage. person and say, hey, you're just taking advantage of the situation? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Obviously, no. People are going to be looking at this gameplay. Why are you uploading it on the first day? That'd be like me going, Tre Trevor, are you fucking serious? I heard your song on the radio, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are you giving your song to radio stations, man? Now everyone can fucking hear it. <laughs> I'm a sellout. Sellout. Could you, sell could, out. could you imagine like the most moral, honest like YouTuber ever like in Call of Duty? Uploads in March. He's like, look, I just didn't want to like get views from yeah. the hype of the game being new. I wanted to get a real feel for the game to form my opinion. 
I didn't want to just come out and be like, hey, look, I got the new Call of Duty. Click yeah. on me. No, I'm not that type of YouTuber. Right. I, I do this for fun. <laughs> okay, first off, all these people that are that say, oh, I do it. I do it for fun, so fuck you for making money. It's just like, okay, well, that's your hobby, bro. That's cool. But, like, you don't, like, amateur ba- basketball players don't go to the NBA and be like, look at this motherfucker running up and down the court. <laughs> What the hell? Like, try hard? Like, come on, dude. <laughs> like, I don't understand why amateurs think it's okay to attack uh, professionals. Haters going to hate. <laughs> and e- even, even at the most ridiculous level. I understand it's playing video games and we're going to do it even if we weren't getting paid for it or whatever. But, like, why, why are we attacking? Why are, dude, why are you cool because you're an amateur? They're at the construction site. You know, one guy's driving the fucking bulldozer and yeah. shit. The other guy's driving the dump truck, right? They're fucking all dirty and shit. Yeah. Comes to payday, they're all in a line. Comes up this one dude, he's like, "Uh, yeah, I don't do this for money. I do this for fun." Bro. Yeah, like, yeah, no shit. You don't understand. My parents, they didn't give me a sandbox when I was a kid. Like, <laughs> I do this shit for fun, bro. I do this shit for fun. Why is that such? I didn't have, bro. Why? Why is it such a badge of honor? The whole I do it well, for free shit. Like what? I mean, people come at Imagine me. if it was a whore on the streets and she just blowing dudes and trying to give her money. Like, uh, I'm not the type of girl, okay? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I just like the taste of it. Uh, yeah, I like to blow dudes, all right? Okay. Don't make a sound bite out so of that. So anyhow, right. anyhow, anyhow, Boy Boy 7th Street mm-hmm. gets arrested, goes to jail. Mm-hmm. $35,000 bail. A piece. On him and K-pop each. So here's the thing. We got to go back to what the charges say, right? They say anywhere between 1.5 and 17. to 17 ounces. The bail so is more than their fine. If the bail is $35,000, my guess is it's up there. It's up, it's got to be like 8 ounces. Yeah, something big. Like I was reading up on this and it says like based on the charges they're being filed with it's a it's a D felony and it's like 1 to 3 years and a and a minimum state fine of 25 grand. So, like, your bail is more than your punishment. So, you don't have a fucking ounce and a half. You had some more shit than that. Well, <clears throat> they had some more shit. Mm. Here's what I'm thinking. Like, obviously, I think weed should be legal, right? I'm I think it's stone right now. Mm. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's. Well, I, I do. I think. It's like freedom. <laughs> Who just blew in the mic like that? Jesus Christ. No, don't do that again. Fuck. It startled Opposite. me. Didn't blow. Oh, so anyhow. <laughs> I don't, I don't blow. Dude. What do you say? I suck. I don't blow. What? <laughs> All right. So anyhow, that's my phone. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, come on, amateur. Hypocrite. Here's my thing. I, I have nothing against uh, weed. I, I don't think it's bullshit. I think it should mm-hmm. be legal. Um, but I'm just kind of curious on like why the fuck he had that much. Because like anyone that smokes weed knows like don't have more than an ounce, no matter what. Yeah. Like I, if he got busted for 1.5 ounces, I I get it. Two, I get it. Three. Well, that's kind of a lot, bro. Why do you need three? Anything above that, it's like, why? Right, Are you this dumb? Is, this is how I figure it. They both got arrested. If they had 1.5 ounces or two ounces, first off, each one of them would have been smart and be like, one's mine, one's mine. Bam, right there, uh, misdemeanors. No. At the time of your fucking arrest, you don't say shit. No, but the way it would be split up. You don't go, dibs on that one. But when like, they went to an arraignment, <laughs> but when they went to an arraignment, they wouldn't still be charged with the felony because their attorney would have told them straight out, listen, if you got two ounces of weed, one yours, one's his... Bam, right there. It's down to a misdemeanor. Yeah. We work on a plea from there. And that's exactly what you say at your arraignment. It's, just, it's the fine that makes me think that it's a the lot. Bail. Oh, yeah. Because it's just a fucking $35,000 bail. Like, that's just insane. That's Unless over- they have priors. I mean, you know. Okay, here's the thing. Like, yeah. You got priors. That's why your bail's for, like for the most For the most part, they set bail based on the charges. How and will the crime is. And will you return, yep. right? Like, are you going to skip out? White Boy 7th Street and K-pop are not skipping out on any fucking court case, no matter what. So yeah. why is it so high? <laughs> it, just, it might just be Chicago, man, and it might be that they have a good amount of weed and that, you know, White Boy probably has a nice house from all that YouTube money. So, like, they might just be like, there you go, 35000 But here's the thing, though. 35000 it's not like they got to come up with thirty five grand. They got to come up with... Seven grand. Seven grand for the two of them. Ten percent. Yeah. But that's bond. Because the bond. Yeah. Because the bond. So They're already out. Yeah, so there you go. They, they got released. But the, the, My take on is this, okay? Uh, White Boy and uh, also his girlfriend, K-pop, they are now going to have to go through the legal system, and it's going to suck. And you know, who fucked know- up, too, though, is that they're going to get mad publicity from fucking YouTube on this shit. Their channel's going to blow up. Their channels are already... I know, but just, like, going to go huge. 
Well, White Boy actually might start getting views. I yeah. mean, I don't mean to knock him when he's down, but I mean, his channel's fucking dying, bro. Like, just anybody can look it up. Like, he called a swat on himself. He's like, I'll beat the charge to get some views. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. That's that Dude, that's. that's, that's that's rit- ridiculous because White Boy would actually do something. <laughs> he fucking would. But anyhow, I hope everything works out for them. Honest to God, um, yeah. You know, so he, that's that's that. Uh, I mean, he he's gonna have to go through the whole legal process, and it, if he is a good lawyer, who knows how it ends up? Like I've heard about people having just a little bit of weed on them, and they're in like prison. And there's people that have like an acre in their backyard, and they're doing like community service. So it's like. It's weird yeah. how it falls. How it falls well, down. I just I don't like it. I don't like. There's a few comments that I've seen here and there that people are like, "Fuck him, he should stay in jail forever." No, he no, shouldn't. It's weird. No. You're saying that shit. Like, uh, hello, if you were in Colorado and you had that, that's fine. Yeah. Like, well, not him. really. Well, I mean, uh, you can't have more than an ounce. Like, that's the golden rule. Like, first of all, you don't need more than an ounce. Like, you're not gonna fucking wake up one day and <laughs> like smoke an ounce. Like, that's not. You're not gonna use a newspaper to roll your blunt that that's, morning. That's not happening. <laughs> yeah, like, but weed smokers aren't really go getters, so. It's not happening. I am I looking at you right now. I don't like going to the store every other day and buying milk. So if I had the ability to buy a huge thing of milk, I'd do that. So White Boy and K-Pop's defense is like, dude, we shop at BJ's and Sam's Club. Like, <laughs> like that's what we do. Like, we buy bulk. We weren't trying to do anything wrong. We just casually smoke weed. Like it's recreational. One, one thing people have to one thing people have to realize is that um, our, my personal opinion on it, weed should be completely legal. Okay. But it doesn't matter what my opinion on it is, what the law is, and how they're going to prosecute you. Like, you can't go to court and be like, this shit should be legal. Like, well, it's not, so. This is your <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your Pretty court much. case is not going to legalize yeah. this. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, somebody tried to do a um, petition on the White House page, and it got five signatures. For what? <laughs> to release White Boy. It got five. So another crazy thing happened. In the community, uh, Robin Williams. Did you hear about this one? Robin Williams passed, yep. yes. Yeah, well, he passed away, and then, uh, you know, like the day or the next day or something like that, uh, PKA gets recorded and it goes up. And surprisingly, and this is like just a day or two days after Robin Williams dies, uh, Woody just starts bashing him. He's like, worst actor ever. Um, <laughs> He killed himself. All his movies were garbage. I don't want him to speak for Woody, but what he was getting at was that he was mad that someone out there would think, look at all the praise that Robin Williams is getting now that he committed suicide. I'm going to commit suicide, which is like the most asinine, weird thing to think of. Like, to go that route. You know what I mean? So, he just starts bashing him and like saying that his movies are garbage and everything else. Like, And I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like... It doesn't matter if that's what you think. If you honestly think that he's not, you know, a good comedian or he's not a good actor or all his movies are garbage, you don't go and say that on the eve of his death. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. too yeah. soon. Like, what's wrong Way with you? Too soon. Yeah. So, the thing that Woody didn't realize, I don't think, is the backlash. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. Because people grew up with Robin Williams. Yeah, you're not going to get a lot of love from bashing Like, them. they grew yeah. up with Hook, right? Yeah. We, we yeah. grew up with freaking Mrs. Doubtfire. You just pretty much shit on Peter Pan right there. Jumanji. Yeah. Like, uh, there's just so many videos or movies. Am I, a, am I a homo for saying this? But the birdcage is fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> no? Okay. Never yeah. seen it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. I've okay. never seen it either. Oh, okay. What is it about? A birdcage. It's, it's about... <laughs> It's about Robin Williams and Nathan Lane, and they're both homos living in Miami. And Don't they own a club or something? They own a club called the Birdcage. Mm. And it's a situation where uh, their son is getting married to a senator's daughter. Wasn't um, well, what's, uh, Nicolas Cage in that? Nicolas Cage was not in no, that. No, something else. Maybe. Doesn't matter. Basically, uh, it was a fucking hilarious movie, even though Robin Williams was uh, a gay uh, even though Robin Williams was a gay. You know all the listeners are going to take from this and they're going to be like, Robin Williams is gay? Yeah, right. <laughs> so anyhow, then this dude uploads a video apologizing. And in his apology, he goes, yeah, everything I said I didn't mean. I actually meant something else. No, you were pretty clear as day on that what? one. It's what? It's like you fun? can't just say you like, 
You can't say like, uh, yeah, Robin Williams movies were garbage, and then the next day be like, you know what? I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I didn't expect hate, this. So. I didn't expect All this right. backlash. His movies are actually good. What? You can't do that. All right, so flippy floppy washy waffly people, like I can't stand. Okay, I have some fucked up friends, but I'm cool with it because they're consistent. Oh yeah, I, fucked up friends. I know what I can. No, I'm just saying like they might, you know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But Wait. what I'm saying, though, is like I hate the, the wishy-washy, flippity-floppity, waffly people. You just you can't you, be the only one. You here. can't do that. You can't say, uh, mm-hmm. this actor has the worst movies ever. And then the next day, after you get hate, be like, I'm sorry. What I meant to say is his movies were great. It just came out the wrong well, that's way. that's with everything, though. Like, you can't fucking do that. Like, like the that what? One, You're an idiot. There's the one, like, musician kid that had, like, you know, cancer and whatnot, which, you know, it's terrible, but... He wasn't that good, yeah. quite frankly, <laughs> but he blew up after he died because yeah. he wanted to be a musician. Like, he sucked. Sorry. Well, that's how uh, but a I, I because hate he's that. dead. I hate he's that, really man. He's famous. I, 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 okay, so, like, if you, first off. What's the story about, tell me the story about this musician kid. Like, who is he? What? Who, what? I, don't, I don't know much about him at all. Was he from YouTube or something? I don't know. They did, like, a remember... Let's just say his name is Dave or something. Remember Dave? And like, yeah. they, he made a music video because he had like two weeks to live. Oh, and okay. Had like severe cancer, you know. Well, that's but, how uh, Ryan well, Miller, the goalie of the Sabres, got his shot. His like nephew or something he had like leukemia, and it was his dream to watch his uncle start in a Buffalo Sabres hockey game as the starting goalie. And next thing you know, the motherfucker's starting goalie for the next seven years. So, is that true? Yeah, that, that that's dead true. Wow. I don't remember yeah. that. Yeah. He used to have on the in the back of his helmet was a uh, the um, what am I trying to say? Well, dude, yeah. what if you know <laughs> to I'm, honor his nephew? Or oh, okay. Yeah. And see, here's where like religious people got to be all fucked up in the head. They're like, wait, God made that little kid, gave him cancer, so Rob Miller could be the the goalie. Right. Yeah. 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 It was all yeah. God's plan. Well, he wasn't going that route. <laughs> like, come on. Like, come on, religious people. Like, think about this. Like, that's just so fucking asinine. God does. Okay. God's not writing well, the script. Well, for I, that. For also, talk about religion. But, uh, okay. Also, <laughs> what, what, what Trevor was getting at was the mere fact that uh, it's about equality. You know what I mean? And it's about like good music and this and that. Like if you're an artist, exactly. like, okay, that sucks that you have cancer, but if your music sucks, sorry, bro. You're just a dude that has cancer. Yeah, but here's the thing. Like, here's the thing. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, right? Yeah. And what is music? Okay, music but this, this, is what, mo- this is what I'm saying, though. Okay, let's say this person took that music, right, mm-hmm. and you played it for a group of people, right? Okay. And if they were and didn't mention, did not say the word cancer, anything about cancer, anything about to die, none of that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Like, um, and as long as the song wasn't about cancer, yeah, like. <laughs> You'd be like next. Yeah, you know, no, I'm, I'm just saying. Though, I like, got cancer and if, I'm gonna die yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, some shit like that, right? Um, if 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 that was taken out of the equation, how would you judge that song, Trevor? You probably know the song. If how would you judge a song if you had completely eliminated the aspect of cancer from it? Well, we already established that. I I, I mean, it was like that's how okay. that's it how you mediocre. It was good. It was good for like a coffee shop. Okay. You know, like an open mic, you know, is decent. All right. So not the like song sucked, but you guys are fucking missing the point. Mm-hmm. You're missing the point, right? Everyone is entitled to their own opinion and backstory means everything. If you're watching like the antique show or like antique the fucking show? the antique road show on TV, right? <laughs> yeah. This motherfucker will come in. He'll be like, uh, yeah, this is like an Indian blanket. And they'll be like, well, who owned it? And they'll be like, one of the presidents of the United States used to own it. And they'll be like, do you have like any proof? Do you have any proof that this happened? Mm-hmm. They'll be like, no. Mm-hmm. All right, well, that blanket is worth $1,000. Now, if this motherfucker comes in with proof that it was Andrew Jackson's after he slaughtered a bunch of Indians and stole this blanket and it had like it his just... jizz rag or something. Right, <laughs> right. You attach that to the blanket. Now the blanket is worth a lot more. Do you understand that well, that's how, we've like, attached goes. that this guy that is dying of cancer to this music, it's worth more because of the backstory. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, how much... It's worth more. How much do people pay for a painting from Vincent Van Gogh when he was alive? 
Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Okay, and then he died, and now the, I don't know. I'll give you four million for fucking a base. Yo, it's gotta suck to be an artist. Like, what about that one artist that used to make like spray paint shit? Do you know what I'm oh, talking about? Oh yeah, Matt Matt Going. Whatever the fuck his name is, uh, he's from your. Isn't he from Seattle, Washington? No, he's from San Francisco. Oh well, there was this artist that would literally would take spray paint and or he would like dip paint and like throw it at the thing. Right? He would make a painting and like. 15 minutes of just paint thrown at the fucking cabinets. It looks like just splatted paint all over. These things, this dude, everyone thought this dude was crazy, right? Because who the fuck would buy this stupid yeah. shit, right? When this dude died, each one of those paintings, and he had like, I don't know, like 50 of them, are worth over a million dollars. Okay. Yes. Time out. I got, I got to say this, man. So the saying behind that is just, is true genius is only appreciated when you passed in the next generations after. Yeah, but this art is not good. But that, a five year old could do it. <laughs> yeah, There's no true genius. I agree. It's what, what, about what, the emotion. What, what happens though is that the people think everyone thinks they're a unique snowflake. Okay, uh -huh. everyone thinks they're special. So when you're not recognized because you suck and you're boring or you're not artistic or whatever, people think, well, when I die, people are sure gonna love me. No, we're probably not either. Like. That's a that's a that's a yeah, crutch. I I disagree with that because I just told like, you a story how this motherfucker no one cared about and then he died and now his paintings are worth millions. And that's what I and what I'm what I'm saying though. There's a lot of people that hold on to that idea because they're they, they do not hold on to that idea because seriously, if I was the next Hitler and I took over the world, I'd make sure <laughs> that those paintings were all destroyed. Zero to a hundred real quick. God damn. <laughs> I'm just well, saying, that escalated quickly. Yeah. I'm just saying no because it's ruined. genocide. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Happiness, sunshine, you, kill everyone. You don't understand. You don't understand. Like, Explain your if okay, I became Hitler thing. Paintings though. paintings are fucking art, right? They're mm -hmm. art. Like People have to take time this and they have to prancing. create something special, right? This fucking idiot threw paint at the canvas in no style, no shape, nothing. A five-year-old can make the exact same replica. Maybe he's trolling. I just, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Sorry, he invented I, trolling. Yeah, he invented trolling. Because think about it. If he'd be like, I'm not doing shit. Flap, 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 flap. And then, like, it's art. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, like how, how about that painting that, like, uh, has a fucking black line down the middle? Yeah. <laughs> Three million dollars. What? But that's what I draw a fucking black line. But that's what I'm saying. Now because, now because of this idiot's paintings being worth so much that all future artists realize that they made masterpieces in kindergarten and they can well, continue like, but, on that quality. If this theory is is true then Leonardo DiCaprio needs to die. Why? Because then he'll fucking finally win an Emmy or a Grammy or fucking something. Wait, he won a Grammy? No, he didn't. He has never, or, he's never won an Oscar. He's never won an Oscar. What yeah, about that's what the Wolf for. of Wall Street? He didn't nothing, it, nothing. No. Nothing. They gave it to fucking <laughs> they gave they gave it to the dude from uh what's that movie called? The uh that where you like cross I'm a homo in <laughs> Dallas or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh jeez. Dallas Buyers Club. Dallas Buyers Club, that's it. Yeah. yeah. They gave they gave it to Matthew McConaughey. They gave it to Matthew wait, McConaughey. Wait, wait, wait. What about um? What about that other movie? That 12, was in? Twelve Years a Slave uh, was best picture. What other movie? Are you talking about Gatsby? Yeah, Gatsby. Uh, you, you amazing. Didn't, you didn't win it for Gatsby. Gatsby either, won uh, an Oscar for like the dress up and shit like that. Yeah. But nope, nothing. Leonard, Gatsby Leonard was amazing. Leonard, uh, you know, okay. I'm, I think Gatsby was weak personally. Oh, I loved it. I've I watched it, it six the times. Only, the good. only reason why the, what killed it for me, I know this is a small thing. Current day music. Oh yeah, no, that destroyed it, it for me. In, Same in thing the 1940s, with, um, dude, you guys have Django. lost your fucking Same thing with mind. Django. Yeah, you have lost hearing, your hearing, fucking mind. What do you mean, lost my mind? Okay, so if you're walking Boardwalk Empire, and so Lucky Thompson's fucking walking down the boardwalk, and all of a sudden Jay Z and that's Kanye different. come in, that's how is different. that different? That's different. That's different. Expl Please explain. Okay, to me how that's different. listen, the fucking director when he was making Gatsby, he wanted to show the craziest party ever, right? And in so order they for us, down for what? And in order, for, <laughs> and in order for us, present day people, to understand what a crazy epic party this was, we needed to hear music that we associated with crazy. Yeah, I, no, no, Honestly, no, I probably no, wouldn't have like, responded the same way then, if no. I heard a fucking jazz or a dude. Trombone they used to play. Have you ever heard Pennsylvania Five Thousand? Yeah, right. Like there's good pants, pants, okay, pants, pants, pants. there's good music from that time period that would have just perfectly played that. When I watch board, I'm using Boardwalk Empire as an example because that Boardwalk Empire is way different. It's a drama. How is it different? Because it's a fucking like drama. I don't know. Like it's like, it makes it makes you have the uh, feels. Mom and Dad, can we like uh, agree to disagree here? Like I don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, by the way, when is Boardwalk Empire coming back? It's coming back September. like a month. Yeah, September. I'm excited. 
the final I season. I don't even know what that is. Border Empire is an excellent show. Do it's a cable? fucking amazing show. It's on HBO. Dude, I can't. It's you know, my favorite. You know what? You know what? That might be my favorite show. I don't watch TV. Don't sit here like you're going to poke the table and make noise. Well, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying this, man. <laughs> I've been spoiled by years of watching HBO and Showtime shows to the fact where this dude will try to get me to watch a USA show. Can't get into it. Oh, fuck yeah. you. My USA shows are awesome. He's used to porn. That's the same thing with um, uh, like The Walking Dead. Like if the Walking Dead I'm was sorry, in, the Walking Dead is watched more than the fucking news. It doesn't matter if the it Walking doesn't matter. The most viewed person on YouTube is PewDiePie, and he's retarded. So Ooh. Ooh. why would you do that? Do you, Send the hate mail to Blade. I love <laughs> yeah, PewDiePie. Fuck it. It's not that. It's just That's like, like at only use me Blade. Like you, you I mean, I, I can't knock the hustle, but like I try, love try, PewDiePie. Try, he is a great person. His videos. We now outstanding. need to get a PO box. From oh, Jesus Christ. Christ! Thanks, bro. Not to be the outcast. Uh, I don't know any of these people you're talking about. You okay. know what PewDiePie is? No. He's I've, the biggest YouTuber in the world. Is and that, that, that goes that, to Trevor? That, uh, the other hate mail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that that like, black kid? That, that like, black kid? Oh, yeah. That that well, Why does every time we have a cast, somebody says something racist? Oh, that black kid. How is that uh, racist? Well, black he just said a not black racist. Kid. He said that he, he was did. a black kid. Um, You're full of shit. What, what are you talking you about? You can't convey sarcasm when people can't see your face, dumbass. Like, what? Yeah, you're said, on you're on the radio. He said black kid. That's all he said. What's he black? Die. Okay, so now he's okay. just staring. They can't, so the they can't hear you stare, Josh. <laughs> so the African American I just wanted to make kid. shit awkward. No, he's not he's not the African American is not black. He's white. What are you talking about? PewDiePie. Are we still talking about PewDiePie? Yeah, he doesn't we're, know who yeah, PewDiePie is. We moved, like, he's we, moved on, kid. we moved on from PewDiePie. He already said he doesn't know who PewDiePie is. Who is the person that you're talking oh, about, Trevor? He thinks he's a black dude because of that song. PewDiePie, motherfucker. What? What is that song? Oh, wow. That's not why. PewDiePie, motherfucker. You're talking about Petey Pablo, the rapper from like the early 2000s? Yeah, bro. Where did Pete, he... What, what is, does he say PewDiePie or what does he say? Uh, Petey Pop, motherfucker. Pete, yeah, Petey Pablo. I think his name is like Petey Pablo or something like that. Petey yeah, Pablo, not, motherfucker. That's not where I was going. Yeah, that's He's talking the, about the kid that sings in high falsetto like constantly and it's terrible. He's like off key. And, I don't uh, think he I, sings. I don't know that one. He says like... These you retarded! Yeah, yeah, that guy. You yeah, know that's exactly who he's talking about. That's who he's talking about. Call me retarded again. So apologize. Ooh. Apologize. Ooh. Apologize. Ooh. Apologize. Ooh. Apologize. Ooh. You're getting grilled on You're not one. even talking to the mic, bro. I'm, t- I'm right here. No, no now you're, you're talking turning to your head. Like, pull that. If you're going to, like, put this your head forward. This is how Blade is talking. I'm in the mic. Well, I kind of have to talk with this. Like, if you're going to look this way. Here, woman. Pop. Look. There you go. Oh, now you're talking. Now I'm further away from it, though. Yeah, but you're talking to these guys. Your uh, voice is very bassy. You don't have to be right on top no, of it. No, I know. I know. And so, anyhow. Your thunderous voice. Anyhow. Like, you do a mic check into it like this, and then you talk like this. <laughs> they, none of these people can see what we're doing or talking about. So, like, let's go I'm sure the they can one. envision, like, this sound. I'm just saying, though, dude, like, you staring on a podcast doesn't work. <laughs> like,. <laughs> How is that He's supposed to be confused? Yeah, you're it doing it again. It makes you awkward. It doesn't make me awkward. Like I'm, I'm, I'll keep on talking. But you staring, not not only does it not offer anything to the podcast, it, it Thursday night, dude. <laughs> like seriously, you motherfuckers are gonna throw it out again. I don't know if you heard about this. But apparently, Blade was streaming. He's playing Outcast now. When he plays this scary game, I try to like scare him if I'm at the house or whatever for a reaction. Apparently, Josh scared him so fucking bad that he almost beat his ass. Yep. And I There's think, video of it. The <laughs> thing is, is, like I've explained it to him. Josh lives with me, and I go before I started it. I said about three times, how long? "Do not." come in and try to startle me dude like do not do that <laughs> scare me why do you say startled you were scared bro no it's it's a, there's a fucking difference scared means like oh my god this guy's gonna get me startled is uh i'm in a zone and all of a sudden yeah, but, shock okay like, i understand and i i agree with you that there's a difference but we don't use the difference we say scared no well then step that's like using the wrong there what do you mean i'm not gonna step <laughs> Look, up my we got another one i'm with you blade thank you but i get your point like i was startled i'm not actually fearing for my life here but at that moment you're scared no we, we, it's we, not i'm we, not scared at that moment yes you startled. are there's a difference i'm trying to explain to you there's a fucking difference no and one I'm trying else to use it in the world I'm, uses that every, everyone else uses that Okay, so well, you mean if they scared. don't, they should. Yeah, he is so. Kind, he is so you mean because to tell here's, me? Here's you the, mean to tell me that fucking prankster on YouTube's called the Startled Snowman? 
No, it's, is it the startled snowman? They call, yeah. they call the is scary... Is it the startled snowman? That's that guy? Oh, I saw Yeah, that's video. right. It's a scary so, snowman because they scare people, bro. The scary and startling is different. I've explained that a million what, times. What is scaring you, what Josh? Class- Josh coming in and startling me is not scaring me. It doesn't scare me. It what? fucking jolts okay, my body. Okay, startles okay. When me. When people okay. run around with the camera wait, wait, and wait, they're wait, like, wait. scare cam, you just like kind of pop out of nowhere and scare somebody. I guess. It's not startle cam. Yeah, Blade, let me put this into a sentence. If we're going to go grammatically correct, it should be start okay. Thank you. It Thank should you. be. This is it why should, we can't have four. Not. We can't but team up on each other. But that's not the fucking language, no. though. That it's, is the language. It's not the fucking it's, language. It's fucking people say fucking scared. They don't say, oh, you Stop startled that. me. <laughs> no one says that. Well, it's that. like when, when, you know, the one of the knock-knock jokes, you're supposed to say, you know, who's there, but. If you answer like, what, it kind of ruins it. Okay, let me ask you a question. That, that would no, suck. Wait, 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 knock, wait. knock, go away. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you a question. All right, I want you to give me the definition of what's going on here. All right, okay. little Billy scares Shelly. All right, okay. What did he do to Shelly? He told Shelly that there was monsters under her bed. Now she's scared of what's underneath the bed. That's scaring Shelly. No! But it, yes, but it, but it, it is. It is. Yes it is. and no. But that's not how people use that fucking term. It's not how they use it, but it's... I agree with you it's that... correct. I agree okay, with Wikipedia. You, I agree Fuck with it. you that are correct, but nobody says startled. They use the term scare. Plenty of people say startled. No one fucking says startled. A lot. Startled? No one says startled. What I'm saying is, like, okay, if you're watching a YouTuber... All right, and they're playing a scary game, and they get fucking scared, right? Nobody's leaving the comments. They're like, "Oh my god, fucking uh, white boy Seven Street is so startled at fucking one minute and thirty five seconds." Well, no one's typing right, that. No, they're typing scared. Here's the difference, though. I, I think what he means is initially he was startled, and then he continued being. Let pissed. me ask you a question: When Josh when came in, scared, and, when Josh scared. came in and startled, startled. you. Mm-hmm. Did any fear go into your body whatsoever? None. Bullshit. <laughs> I, I disagree with you now. What? <laughs> Why do you disagree with me on that? Well, well being startled Welcome means to the you dark are, were afraid of something. Okay. See, that, that's that's what I'm saying, though. I don't think that it's, it's not you being afraid I, of something. I, I, afraid I'm, and scared is like the same definition. Okay. If, oh, if, my God. If, okay. I'll, 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 use, I'll use the example. Let's say you're, what is your body temperature? 90, 96 Why degrees? Why do you have 98. to hold your ground on this point so well? Okay. 98.6. 98.6, right? If you're at 98.6 and you're just cruising along and nothing's bothering you and you're at that temperature and then all of a sudden your body temperature through someone dumping water on you or whatever drops drops like 20 degrees, your body's going to just be shocked by that, right? Oh, okay. And that is being startled. That's what I'm saying. Blade, in- you literally like jump backwards and put up your hands like you're about to get attacked when you're startled. Right? So in that moment, you're fucking scared, bro. No, it's not scared, though. That's what I'm, I'm trying to explain to you. We, okay. This dude is at, holding his no, ground like a this, Roman fucking wall. At, okay. at this point, so dude, we're going in circles. Like, that's what we're saying. So like, your body's 98.6 degrees. So when he dumps cold water on you, your body gets shocked, but then your body goes back to 98.6 eventually. Yeah. If you get frozen, which would be in this analogy, I, the same now, as if, scared. If, if, if yeah, I was pinned down and I couldn't get out and I thought I was going to die, then I, yeah, I'd be I'll scared. I'll win this conversation right here. For, well, obviously from now on, you do know that you will be scared while playing that game that I'm going to come in and startle you. That I I'm not going to play. Oh. That I can agree with that. I'm not going to play the game anymore then. <laughs> Nobody fucking says startled, bro. Yes, Nobody says a, Why is it a word then? We're going to start a vote on this. People, please leave comments. It's an old-fashioned word that like fucking people in the 40s use. Well, so is whom, but I always say whom. whom? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Who's who the, it old-fashioned Whom, word? may I ask, is speaking. Who the fuck is like seriously like uh, having a, hollow, a haunted like, house for Halloween time and saying, advertising in the paper, hurry up, the most startling haunted house ever. <laughs> <laughs> Who the well, fuck is saying okay, that? Okay, as an, as an that, adult. That would be like one thing that's just going to jump out. Don't try to act like an adult. No, a- as an adult, okay, if you go to a haunted house, none of the stuff in the haunted house is scary, okay? Bull, dude, fuck you. You, you fuck me. No, I went to a haunted it's house with startling. you. startling. No, I went to it's a haunted stunted, house with this motherfucker. Yes, he was so scared he wouldn't fear. go in the other one. We got free tickets so, in the haunted house because we were filming the Bad Kid cast in there. This motherfucker wouldn't go anymore. Because I went like, on the first one 
and it was it startled me too much, and I didn't want to go oh again. Oh my god! Uh, were you startled oh, yeah. about going on the Superman? Oh, uh, that was just a premonition. You know what? <laughs> That's what it has to do with pray to your God. Past and present experience, experiments, dude. You can't. So. I'm sick of you fucking with the language. We're taking. A I'm break not fucking on with this. the language, like, I, dude. It just we'll came, back to, after it came to a break. point where I, I said, "What what's going on?" You said, "What's going on?" And we just disagree. That's all. What is this? What is this right here that I'm holding in my hand? Just describe to the people. It's a Gatorade. It's not a Gatorade. It is a bottle holding Gatorade. See? See what of a fucking asshole I am? Why didn't I just say it was a Gatorade? No, I didn't want to. I want to say it's a bottle with Gatorade in it. I'm not arguing what with you. What color is the sky? It's blue. It's a no, bottle it's with Gatorade it's in it. Clear. It's not a Gatorade. But here, see, what you Let's got, have a fucking debate talking, over that. That's so stupid, that's not, Blade. That's not stupid, You're though. scared. I'm not scared. I've explained this a thousand times. From now on, times. you are scared that the possibility <laughs> of somebody jumping in on you. He even locked his door, and I was real fucking quiet about it. I'll give you that. that right? shit. So All right. at the moment what, what Trevor, he was startled, what Trevor just said but now is, he has a constant fear. I will have he a, is scared. I will have a fear. Again. Okay, that you know, wait, wait a minute. I said that fucking three minutes ago. And you're like, he, no, he, no, he, no, he arti- no, no, no. He articulated no. it better though. No, you're it saying made, Trevor said it in a nicer way. <laughs> no, no, fuck you. Trevor, Trevor made me look right. less of a pussy. Plates when he like said you that. know what, Josh, you're not going to get the win, but I will give the win to Trevor. This is this is because I'm prettier. What you what you just said though about the haunted house thing? We went through the haunted house. We're supposed to make two runs. I went through the first one. I did not enjoy it. Now I was startled by that first experience. Oh my god! But you know, here, I'm giving you a fucking point here, bro. Yeah, I'm giving you a point. You tell me to go back in there. I said, Mm-mm, not doing it because I was scared of being startled again. Okay. Oh, as long yeah, as you say startled, point. I'm from now on. We want to go. All out right, we're taking drinks. a break. We're taking a break, and we'll be right back <laughs> after <laughs> this. <laughs> And we are back. I would like to explain what planting seeds means in our circle of friends. Oh boy, dealing with bad. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> you Wait, did you like explain this on the last show? Did yeah, I? but we you also got somehow a seed planted into you to like fucking call me at five o'clock in the morning and be like, "Hey, we're going to Chicago." I'm like, "What?" Oh <laughs> yeah, we didn't even talk about that. Did oh, we? talk about that. That's pretty cool. Well, go ahead and explain planting seeds. I guess. And so then we... okay, real quick, planting seeds when it pertains to Keem is this: uh, saying, don't do it. Saying a saying a ridiculous idea or possible thought in a fantasy world doesn't matter. Keem will will process that and be like. Let's fucking do it, okay? <laughs> uh, if you were to ask 100 people, hey, what do you think about getting on a plane and flying to Chicago and going to the courtroom and waving at White Boy and interviewing him and filming it for a drama alert, you'd be like, well, that's fucking insane. Of course you're not going to do that. Keem, on the other hand, I, I didn't plant this seed, but somehow the seed got planted. Somebody tweeted at me and they said, it would be uh, funny mm-hmm. if you got on a plane and flew to White Boy 7th Street's hearing and, you know, recorded drive, drama alert live from the scene. So, yep. without even planning this out, it's just like, we're going to the airport. Yep. What? No, I did technically plan it out. Yeah. I figured that, that it was going to cost me about $2,000. I figured that I would ask my fans that want me to do this really bad to pay for half of it. So, I made a little thing and we raised like, uh, like close to $1,000 or whatever. And... Then we got on to a, um, then I called Josh and I was like, let's go. We're going. Uh, I didn't have the tickets yet, but I just needed to get to the airport ASAP. Right. Um, got in the Hummer. Josh bitched out. So we took Blade and we drove to the airport. I knew exactly what was going to happen. And we were looking for a flight, but it didn't turn out. Yeah, we just didn't. It was too late in the quarter to be able to get there in time. So. There was no way to get there in time. And it actually turned out that we didn't go because there was no cameras allowed in the courtroom. Right. That's awesome. You would have checked the website. Where you know what? No you know recording what? devices. You know what's really funny? We went through that same kind of thing where I was 10% pleased. Like, I really wanted to go to Chicago. That would have been cool. Right. Okay. But there was a small part of me that's like, okay, well, I guess we're going back home. All right. I kind of saw that a little bit, but I didn't want to like dash your dreams. I don't want to be like the... Dr- People that kill dreams. If you would have suck. said that to him, he would have been like, so "All right, we're going to steal this plane and we we're going to fly there." Everyone that donated mo- donated money to to help pay for this like trip that me and Blade were about to go on, uh, I refunded them, right? But so we didn't end up going. But here's the thing: we attempted. Yeah, we, we fucking actually drove to the airport. We tried to get tickets. We tried to figure out how to get there in time. There was no way to do it. So you're not a professional baseball player. 
and you got to go up against the best baseball pitcher in the game. At least you went up to bat, even though you knew you weren't going to fucking hit anything. You yeah. still like went up to bat. Well, here's the thing: it's not even that's not even a good analogy. It's the whole thing. <laughs> Your analogies suck. See, we got this but... bobblehead on the table right now of Alan, and it's like what I picture Brian with. Because the baby. thing is, is like you knew that dude was going to fail, right? You knew he was going to fail. Mm-hmm. I didn't think I was going to fail, but there was just no other way around it. Like I don't. The last thing I was thinking of maybe getting Dylan to get his personal jet and like pick us up and take us there. Yeah. But I couldn't get a hold of Dylan earlier. I was trying to get so. a hold of my friend that has a Cessna. I'm like, Blade, how do you feel about small planes? <laughs> do you know what a Cessna is? Yeah, it's a it, small plane. No, it's like a little propeller, one propeller plane that like fits like three people. That falls underneath the, the small plane umbrella. So. <laughs> <laughs> sure. wait, no, it's, wait. it's like yep. some sketchy shit, bro. The one. Yeah. The Josh, yep. speaking about you just saying that dumb thing. I was reading the comments. Do you know what a small plane is? Yes. No, you don't. This is a Cessna. <laughs> it's a tiny plane. Well, anyhow. If Blade saw it, you'd be like, mm-mm. What do, you want me come, what do you want me to come back at you? Uh, you mean a tiny plane? Like, you, won't, you won't get on the fucking Superman. If you I was that, reading like, the happening. comments on the last drum alert, or excuse me, the last back kick cast, and someone left a comment, and they were like, you know what? Josh is fucking dumb. Like, seriously, this guy's a retard. I'm so glad he's on the show. That's what their comment was. Thanks. <laughs> Whoever that is, unfollow. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, they were probably referring to the whole Canada never goes to war thing. So Canada <laughs> does go to war with us every time. Just, yeah. Just so you know. See, but like when I think about that, I think about a, uh, like a bunch of Mounties on horses. Like fucking. Oh, there's <laughs> river dancing in quicksand. There you go. <laughs> uh, we hung out with a Canadian today. Yeah. Yes, we are hanging out with uh, Matt Santoro for a second. Uh, if you don't know who the <laughs> elephant in the room was this. Okay. So, uh, mm-hmm. I like one morning I was, I basically was looking through my timeline and Matt Santoro is always positive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's always positive. Right. And that's cool. That's awesome. And he's, he's a, when you meet him in real, real life, he's a positive guy. Okay. Yeah. But it was just fucking annoying. I need him to like stub his toe or something. <laughs> so, He'd be like, your dog died. I'll get another. It's yeah. okay. Like, just like, he had a good life. Yeah. <laughs> he left some puppies that are going to bring on his legacy. It's just like shit like that, right? <laughs> so so I unfollowed him and he asked me why I unfollowed him. I'm like, because you're fucking positive all the fucking time and it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> He's staying at my house. He's a cool dude. We're <laughs> probably going to hang out tonight. There's no animosity. Like, first off, I will delete. Okay. Right now, I'll tell you this right now. I am not friends with Keemstar on Facebook. You know why? It's because Keemstar, you open up your Facebook to everybody. People can get through you to try to friend request me. And it's annoying. Yeah. I was telling Keem about this, and he was like, fucking defriend me. Fuck it. Like, I don't care. Yeah. Because it's, it's Facebook. Who cares, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, a lot of times, if you were to defriend someone on Facebook, they would have a fucking panic attack about it. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Add me. Please, I need friends. (laughs) I don't... Okay, so here's the... My friend count is status quo. (laughs) Here's my perception of Facebook. Facebook is for, like, people I went to school with, people I work with, people I know, IRL, in real life. Yep. All right? Twitter is your internet, like, social media. That's how Facebook limits you to 3,000 friends. Twitter's for you to talk to, like, people... All around the world. You don't necessarily know. Facebook is for you to talk to people that you've met before. Yeah, I mean, like, Facebook, you can't have a name like some random-ass gaming tag name. Yeah. Or, or you have to have, like, a link. Like, you can only like Yeah, that. Facebook basically yeah. wants you to identify yourself exactly. and give you all your information so they can sell it to NSA. I mean, it used to, it used so to, it used to be NSA. only for, it used to be only for, like, college students. Mm-hmm. Originally, yeah. that's what it was for, so. Yeah, now Scott's we dogs have movie. a Facebook page. Calm down. It went from only exclusive to college, like you had to be in a college to do it. Now, like Scott's dogs well, that's have how, Facebook. Well, that's how that's how <laughs> Facebook beats. It's pretty much what Scott's Facebook. Oh, and is. stop making fucking Facebooks for your dogs. Stop making Facebooks for your fucking babies. That's how Facebook beat MySpace is because like Facebook was like, uh, yeah, MySpace is for children. We're the college. Well, kids. what started is is the idea, the same idea behind Twitter, where it's a very uh, very polished, simple thing. Facebook's getting so complicated, I think people are going to stop using it. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube, dude, I don't know what it is, right? Like, we hate every single YouTube update, right? We yeah. all hate it. 
But if you look back at like an older version of YouTube, like even like two years ago, you're like, wow, what is wrong with this shit? This shit looks horrible. This is fucking hilarious. So there is this dude on Twitter, <laughs> right? This goes along with the same thing, right? You should see his face right now. He was pissed off because the uh, Twitch was just running really weird on his computer, right? Uh-huh. He took a screen cap of the whole fucking thing. This dude was like on Windows 3.1. <laughs> <laughs> And so, like, the, the Twitch logo loaded up, but, like, that was it. And he was like, why is this not working? And they're like, uh, yeah, have a operating system from this decade, and then we can talk. <laughs> like, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Windows 90. I wonder what that would look like if you got, like, one of those really fucking old computers and, like, tried to log on to the internet. That might be, that might be like an, an Aladdin. Dude, that might be oh, an awesome video. Fucking, awesome video to take an old-ass computer. Right, so everybody knows what Quicken is, right? Yeah. You can, like, put your bank stuff and everything into it. <laughs> well, like... N- my grandfather is so like old school, but he keeps up with every other thing. But he still has Quicken two thousand and one. Like he can't even import his shit anymore. What is Quicken? Quicken like Quicken's for your tax keep loans. like your taxes, bank accounts, no. everything. If you, credit card if you were to, if you payments out, and if shit. you were to run like a business, like let's say you're running a business where you're like selling T-shirts out of your house, you it'd be an easy way for you to keep an inventory. Of like it. hypothetically speaking, say you own a network and you need to keep track of things, mm-hmm. you would use Quicken. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. we, just just it. It. we just explained it. <laughs> that thing you just said about yeah, whatever. Not. Yeah, no. Yeah, well, not applicable. The thing is, it. is like my brain just does not give a fuck about what you just said. Like <laughs> he I, said that I, he said that shit to Scott this morning when he when Scott was like when we were going back from the airport, he was just like Scott, stop! What are you doing, dude? I don't give a fuck about what you're talking about right now. <laughs> 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 okay, let me explain that whole situation. Okay. All right, we're in the car, all right? We're driving from the airport. We have failed to fucking go to White Boy 7th Street's hearing. We couldn't get a flight. There was not one available that got us there fast enough. On the way home, I came up with the idea with, it's fine, there's still a solution. We just need to find somebody in Chicago that's not a child, an actual adult, that's trustworthy, to go there and record, all right? So this is my MO, right? Mm-hmm. I can't be there. I'll get an eye reporter to do drum alerts bidding for me. I go to Scott. Do you know anyone in Chicago that can help you out? This is what Scott says to me. He goes, well, I know this one guy. He lived in Chicago, but now he lives somewhere else. <laughs> I know this one girl who writes lives, books. writes books. She's in Chicago. She's a professional, but she wouldn't do it. <laughs> Um, I know another guy that went to college in Chicago, but now he's in Lauderdale, Florida, right? I know this other guy that once visited Chicago. I'm like, what are you doing? Shut up. <laughs> like, it's not It's not oh, about... You don't even know what happened at home because you guys are It's gone. It's not about the fucking, like, almost made it that we're, we're, we're discovering here. We're discovering the path to... Doing it like the path to the correct answer. That's what we want. Everything else is fucking stupid. Shut up. Well, here's the thing. Scott will come up with all the logical reasons why you can't do something. I will do. I know you're, we it wasn't going to happen, but I'll fucking roll with you, bro. Like that's my take wait, on it. Wait, come on. You knew it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Right, so most of your ideas I know aren't going to happen. It didn't happen. It almost you didn't happened. Believe, bro. You brought all that negative energy that's with you. That's not negative energy, though. You need to that center wasn't, your That cheat. wasn't negative energy. I ran down my battery on my fucking phone looking up prices for a different airplane or airport. Air, you knew it wasn't going to happen after we got there, but not prior. Here's the thing, dude. Most of your ideas oh, boy. don't work. But here's the thing. You try so many things that when they do work, you look like a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Like what the fuck? That wasn't okay, supposed to work. If you, but it if did. you take if you take a you know fucking what? full court basketball shot like over your head, right? You're gonna miss majority of the time, right? But if you keep on doing it, bro, you're gonna eventually hit that shot, and then we're gonna fucking cheer and be like, "Yeah, I was fucking there for you, bro, when you did that." For two and a half hours. You, you want to know what? You know who Wayne Gretzky is? The greatest like hockey player of all time. Mm-hmm. Never you, heard of him. Yeah. Well, anyhow, when you pull up his stats, mm-hmm. like he has horrible averages. Yeah. You know what made him so amazing? He took like ten times more shots on goal than anyone else. Absolutely, yeah, you put the puck on the net. So that's that's what it's about. It's about shooting. Yeah, I still think you so need I'm to look all... up some like chakra, like blade like, honestly, exercises. 
You don't center sh- your gravity, bro. Be happy. Be I am happy. What are you person? talking about? I'm a positive fucking you person. You brought all that negative energy. No, I didn't bring airport. negative energy. No, no. You this, did bring negative this dude, energy to the This airport. dude called me. I'm, I'm like waking up. He's like, we're going to go to fucking Chicago. Pack up. Go take a shower. Pack up. We're going to Chicago. We're going to go do this thing there. Like I a, need you to film this. You're like a Duracell battery. Yeah, but like it, it, it battery only didn't it, happen no. because we didn't have the flight. It's not like like there wasn't a flight for us to get there in time. Yeah. That's the only reason. Okay. So you based everything on uh, I know we're not going to get a flight on time. No, 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 no. I I based it on that. Not play. all. Okay. Not all your shots are going to go in, Keem. Okay. But I'm going to be there. I'm going to pass you the ball though. All right. Ooh. He just went ooh after that. Come yeah. on. <laughs> no poetry He's was laid down here there. Since we started Stop. this cast, like fucking. So Josh, you were saying, well, you don't even know what's going. Oh yeah. Doing. So at fucking the house, I'm like Scott. Uh, Keem needs you guys to pick, need you to pick him up. And he's like, well, I mean, I've already wasted an hour. If you don't hour. know who we're talking about, we're talking about Scott and Martin. And everyone knows so, who Scott is. And he's like, I've already wasted an hour of my life doing this. I'm like, and you, what else were you doing today? Okay. Like, mm, this is about the most exciting thing you've done this week is gone <laughs> to the airport. Like, what? <laughs> well, come on. Yeah, he did take us to the airport and pick us up. So. Yeah, I appreciated it. I really did. Yeah. I just didn't appreciate like. And we do love the- you, Scott. I could have pulled teeth easier than it was to get him to go get you Actually, guys. Actually, all three of you have fought Scott physically. Yep. I've never fought Scott physically. Well, he just beat up on you. I didn't want <laughs> to. Yeah, he startled uh, me. and I, I fought him after <laughs> he fucking started. Started. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Stop. Listen, mine was not meant to happen like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the only person that hasn't gotten a physical fight with Scott. I was joking with him, and he just went all... High school wrestler on me. And uh, yeah, he's like flashback. Ten choked years. me out. <laughs> like, fuck yeah. it. Then Josh is over here kicking him in the head. Like, like, you were kicking him in the head. Yeah, I'm like, get the yeah. fuck off. He can't breathe. Fuck. I, I blacked out. I legitimately. Died. We got back to the house and he kept going. He's like, what fuck me do? I'm like, fuck you. I tackled him to the ground. We're just fucking sitting there. It's like some wrestling move on me. I'm like, dude, fucking let me go so I can just punch you in the face. Like, let me go so I can just hit you. Because I don't fight with this. Like, I'm gonna fucking stick my hand between your legs and grab your arm. Like, it's just what? <laughs> Why? Square off. Let me hit you in the face. Hit me back. We'll see who stands at the end of it. Uh, I did fucking headbutt him. It made his nose bleed. Yeah, nobody fights like that anymore, Josh. You're like talking about some fucking 80s fighting. Yeah. <laughs> when fighters had respect for each other. Yeah. Well, Come on, let's go. It's like trying to put me in a Put triangle. up your dukes. <laughs> Stand 10 feet apart. Pull your pistols. You call that a stance? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kim. How do you fight people? You roll around on the ground. No, with I'm just saying, fall like, off? I'm just saying, like nowadays. Good show. Nowadays, kids. <laughs> nowadays, kids aren't like trying to get some like respect by like standing up and like throwing fists. Today, kids are like, oh, I know fucking MMA. I know jujitsu. They're like, they're doing like some wrestling move and then fucking punching me in the okay, face. You can try to go ahead and like leg sweep me, but if I punch you in your bridge, your nose, you're done. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, Kids stop. are trying to leg sweep nowadays. They're not yeah. fucking sitting there like 1980s like, let's go, buddy. Rock them, sock them. Like, okay. that shit ain't happening. <laughs> Motherfuckers are trying to kick. Dude. I, people are trying to kill each other. You They're guys, not trying to fight you, anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, it was all like a respect. Yeah, thing, nowadays, you know? like, you can't even get into like an actual fight because there's always that possibility that, that motherfucker's going to pull out a gun. Yeah. Not even you that. Know? I mean, mm. Everybody like, sues each other too. I know. We talk yeah, about yeah, ying. You sneeze stuff. on someone, you lose ten grand. There's no like if you're gonna <laughs> fight, you might as well just like fucking make sure you lose because if you win, you're getting sued. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you're either going to jail, getting sued, or that's that's that. Like that's the, you know what else is fucked up though. Like now that I'm a parent, I'm like starting to think about this. Like okay. What if my kid goes to school, and my kid will never do this, but hypothetically speaking, let's say I had a boy, right? What if my kid goes to school and beats the fuck out of someone else, right? Yeah. And then their parents sue me. Yeah. I lose $40,000 because my kid got in a fight at school. What? Yeah. Yeah. What? That's some, like fighting insurance policy. I'm divorcing no. you. <laughs> See, I've always, I've You're not thought, mine anymore. <laughs> I've always thought that would be a really weird thing because like on paper, to, according to authorities, according to like school people, you're not supposed to fight, right? Mm-hmm. But if my son defended himself and laid somebody out, I'm going to secretly be like, good job, boy. You know? like Right. I'm talking in the mic, by the way. No. You were looking at Keem and talking this. Yeah. Well, who? Why did you say you were talking on the mic? No one even called you out. Yeah. Okay. Because you guys looked at me all crazy. We looked at you because you were fucking talking. Okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You threw yourself under the bus. I kind of did bro. throw myself under the bus there. He 
fucking ran it on himself. Paul like your fall. foot didn't get ran over, dude. You said my that eye. Like I'm so lazy that I don't move my eyes. I move my whole face and just my eyes stay still. Like, <laughs> isn't that the opposite? That's of lazy? opposite yeah, of lazy. I know. Right? You're so active, dude, dude, if, active you, person. if you do it again, you're gonna have a thirty-five thousand dollar bond. <laughs> Oh, did you notice earlier that Blade smoked and like he was perfectly fine? Like, yeah, they should have that much weed and everything. And we're all like, no, you don't need that much. But Blade smoked, so it made perfectly good sense to him that they had all. I that. mean, everyone. It's the thing is, it's all about the the person. Like, uh, when did somebody fucking fart? It smells like fart. <laughs> there, there's honestly, it smells like there's like when I was outside, it smelled like your neighbor's septic tank might have blasted or something. I think you have ass seepage. You just Actually, don't realize don't, it. I don't know. Mm. I'm not looking at you. No, no, I'm sorry. Here, let me well, talk to they you. They can't smell. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Josh. Okay, we can't solve this mystery. Can you on smell the cast. in the house? I can't smell in the house. <laughs> smell. I just had a. Whiff Are you wearing fart. the same boxers from last night when I scared you? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. Shower. I'm Come just on. With you. What are you talking about? All right, so. I mean, startled you. Sorry, my bad. I know you. you. Okay, I bring this up all <laughs> the time. You. Now that we have a, another guest, maybe we can have a conversation about it, or maybe nothing will be said. Sure, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there and see what happens. <clears throat> see, see what sticks. There's wars going on. That mud pie fell off the wall. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Watch the fucking news. I can never talk about current events because no one here watches the news. Okay, what um twelve year old right now is playing games okay. while listening to this. Here's something you like, probably do know. I wonder know. if we're going to get nuked today. Here's something you probably know. Um, what do you think about this? Uh, his name is Michael... It's not Michael. Black kid in Missouri. That's is racist. It, is it murder? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I'm talking about? The kid, the kid, I should, we shouldn't be laughing. The kid that got murdered by the cop. Or got shot by the cop. Oh, oh like a yeah, long time ago. Like, oh, with that no, guy. Like, like the, the there's an thing? iPhone video of it. Like the guy oh, was the way purge. back and he got... Um, the cop didn't know. That actually happened. Like I thought that was like a hoax or something. Dude, the purge was a hoax. The fucking Illinois purge on Twitter. That was well, a no, hoax. There was like the Louisville. Kentucky Louisville. One. Louisville purge, yeah. That, act- that actually that's happened. That's what we were right? talking about. Yeah, that's a... Mm-hmm. I just said the wrong thing. Louisville oh, purge sorry. was a hoax. <clears throat> that was a hoax. We're not talking about that. We're I mean, about the... cop, cops just be killing people, bro. Like I know Ferguson. Not... Yo, Ferguson. we watched that Cat Williams and fucking. <laughs> no, it's not. I knew that before that. Just like it, it really, mean... honestly, if, if a cop had a problem with you and he and he fucking took you out, they could be like, oh yeah, he killed himself with my gun. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he honestly, drew on me. Yeah, exactly. No, that, I don't know why anyone would ever like disrespect police. Like anytime I'm confronted by cops, I'm like, oh, how's it going, sir? That, I mean, what? I don't think it's a dis- I don't think it's a dis- <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't think it's a disrespect. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> we all just. Look I up wasn't blades. thinking. I'm but, sorry. But what, what I'm saying though is that the I, people in glass house you shouldn't throw stones. I didn't fucking even I pick up a stone. It. I said people it. in I know. glass but houses sink ships. Dude, we've said so much. Are we gonna? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm just Can saying. We talk I'm saying no. <laughs> but what, what I'm saying though is Negative that there's uh, the, the Ferguson dude or whatever. Um, he probably didn't say anything to the cops. Like, or if he did say something, it was taken out of context. Though. Here's, Wait, here's the cop story. Like every, I don't. I, yeah, I wish ex- I knew his name. Explain the cop story. Okay. Here's what the cop a said. Things going through my mind. Which the cop, cop said story? this. The cop said this. The cop said that there was two black kids in the street. Pulls up, and he says, you know, what are you doing on the street? Get on the sidewalk. They get on the sidewalk or whatever. Apparently, the one guy charges the cop, so the cop shoots him. Then the cat, after he gets shot, then he runs away, and then he comes back and charges him again, and he shoots him a couple more times. Apparently, that's the cop story, right? Kills him. Taser and mace. The King. story, I wish I knew this fucker's name. Yeah, that doesn't work anymore. I shouldn't call him a fucker because right. he's passed away, but <laughs> I, I can't think of his name. But anyhow, long story short, um, what they're saying on their end is that he had his hands up and he was like, okay, like I'm, I'm giving up, I'm surrendering, and the cops still shot him in the head. He was obviously reaching up in the sky for a gun. And- <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. there was a the here, gun had active camo. The yeah. weird thing is, is there was like a bunch of Coke. witnesses. So, Mike Brown, maybe that's his name. Mike Brown. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, say any so colors. people, some pe- people keep on like pulling. Like, that's racist card. It's like, <laughs> uh, what is your nationality? Uh, I'm an Italian. That's racist. It's like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. The race card fucking disappeared when Obama took president. Yeah, if you say nigga on Twitter, like you'll get called a racist. It's so um, funny. I personally think that Obama needs to do the ice challenge. He's been called. Well, out. he got called out and actually pu- released his publicist or whatever released that he wouldn't be doing it. Why not? He got I called out by a lot of people. He got called out by Justin Bieber and the King. Like, well, I mean, if Justin Bieber called me, I, I wouldn't do it either. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have Obama no for that kid. Do we oh. want to talk about him? We could talk about him. Go for Who? It. Justin go, Bieber. Yeah. Talk about the JB. Oh, go ahead. No, go no, ahead. we don't want to talk about him. Well, what do you think about Justin Bieber? The show's about talking about whatever he wants. Trevor doesn't want to be honest. He's like, I think he's sexy. He's the nicest boy. No, what, he's what an you, asshole. Yeah. It's not even the the fact that his music sucks, which it does, and his voice is terrible, and everything about him is just terrible. But I thought he Ignoring had a good voice. I thought he had a good voice. No, no, he no. doesn't. He had a good voice when he was twelve. Then he, you know, his <laughs> balls dropped, and he's kind of mediocre. So they have auto tune and reverb and oh, oh. compression on his vocals. And Michael you Brown can make is sound his good. name. Michael Brown. Anyway. Ignoring the fact that Justin Bieber is not a talented artist, in my opinion, which everybody's allowed their opinion. Right. I think he's an asshole yep. for the things he I'm, does. I'm absolutely startled right well, now. Well, do you know that. Justin Bieber is not a good artist. Yeah, Justin Bieber is, like, amazing. I don't know what the fuck Like, we're OMG. Here like, dude, Justin Baby, Bieber. Baby, Baby has to be one of the most creative, inspiring, thought-provoking lyrics he, ever what I written. Think, what I think Trevor is trying to say, though, is that um, there's separation between the artist side of someone and their personal life, how they are in the real world. Exactly. But he's saying that he's a douche in both senses. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's something well, else wait, I what, to Does talk his about. music get worse because he's a douchebag in real life? I don't think... I don't know. I don't know. I don't really... Listen to his music. Uh, but I, I let me ask a, you a question. A somewhat fair chance. Uh, does his music now? Does I mean you? You got to answer this yes or no. Knowing that he's like an asshole, right? That's your opinion of him from the media perspective. From the media perspective, does that make his music even worse? No. Yeah, I agree with him. You don't think it does? I don't think, I don't think it, think it does. does. No. Uh, okay. Michael. I think you're judgmental right away going in because you think he's a dick. No, okay. Well, because uh, I went my, in Michael before, nitpick him then. I knew, yeah. uh, well, not no, I grew, okay. stories of I grew up on Michael Jackson, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael Jackson is the oh, shit. Oh, yes. But yes. Uh, personally, I wouldn't let him babysit my kid, you know? But uh, yeah, Michael also Jackson makes good music. proven innocent. Here's the thing. I don't think Michael He's Jackson actually because it gave people millions of dollars to say. Dude, they I didn't. honestly, yeah, say honestly, anybody. do not think Michael Jackson fucking molested any kids. I really don't think. He I did. don't think so either because mm. he had so much money that people were like, Ooh, like we can use this shit." For our if advantage. I lived on his block and I was seven, he, that motherfucker would have touched me too. I would have said because I would have never had to worry about money again. And of course, exactly. You know, shit. Michael Jackson wasn't. I don't think he was like interested in sex. Period. Like it just. Yeah. I honest to God, I think like, he's too focused on being white. Yeah, he well, was he just also asexual. he also did that because he had that skin disorder. He was. Do you believe that? But it's true. Yeah, but yeah. it's true. I, he had, had, I had a friend from high school who had a blotchy the truth, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but not that. <laughs> we, Why'd you I, come at him all loud? Not, you believe that? You're not, not allowed to believe. You the don't. Truth. You don't get that blotchy, bro. You don't. Mm, yeah, you, you, yeah, don't. you don't go from black to pasty. You don't get that blotchy. You don't. You see? Put some sunscreen on, Johnny. You're not going to get that blotchy. I mean, you got spots all over. What are you, a Dalmatian? What, what, what's it called? Dalmatian. Like melano- I don't know. Melanoma? No, that's a cancer you die from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know, I, know, I know what you're talking about, though. The skin disease, my buddy had that. And Malapetius. Had... Michael Jackson kind of felt like when we were, when we were talking about earlier with uh, like people dying and like their their stuff being worth more money and everything. I was watching like right after Michael Jackson died, and like they were showing us like how he went shopping and went shopping at these like high end stores and everything. And he was broke, like he didn't have any money, but like his record company, and everything just kept paying for it. He's like, I want that and that, and, like seventy thousand dollars chess tables and shit, just because they were counting. I'm like, when well, when you die, we're gonna get this money. Well, <laughs> yeah, but he's the he fucking wasn't king. Broke. Of, yeah, he wasn't broke. He wasn't bro. broke at all. He, he's the fucking he king owned of pop. every Beatles song ever. Yeah, he was still getting residuals from that. Yeah, yeah. There's no he way was spending more than he was co- in coming in. Okay, no one ever said 
uh, sorry, Mr. Jackson, your credit card's declined. Like, no, that's I never that. happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you mean broke, Period. like, oh, he only made, you know, $18 million this year. Yeah. No, but he was spending more than he was earning. They were saying that at one point that he was broke, yes. but It he wasn't was that he was broke, broke, he was just spending more than he was earning. Yeah. So well, he's he living like every other American. more than the average American. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? He's got to be broke. There's no way. Dude, I, I I always wonder, right? Like, if you took the struggle out of life, like, if you were born rich as fuck and you took the struggle out, mm-hmm. would life be boring? Like, seriously, would it be fucking boring? Out of your mind, um, boring? No. no. I think, okay, think I about, think, think, it would. think about people that retire, bro. Think about people that go through the struggle for, like, 30 years and get a pension and do all that stuff and then retire and mm-hmm. not have to do anything. Yeah. I'm not, you oh, yeah. talk to them, they're not going to be like, it's boring. Well, that's different. Is They've already the, went through the struggle. I'm talking about never going through the struggle. They, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have it. knowing they what a struggle is. They wouldn't have a frame of reference, bro. Yeah. If you're on fucking jet skis every day, that'd be sick. You're not going to be like, you know what? I that's really like wish I would have worked for this. Yeah. Money, money can't and buy happiness. And then perception changes because you ride a jet ski every day, but then yeah. one day you don't, yeah. and you're like, this is the worst day ever. Man, What's I going can't. on? But here's, here's the thing. I need struggle. You don't need struggle, but it, I need struggle. It does, like it, it literally, does, that's why I'm always does, trying to do impossible when, shit. When you, like I need to try do, to do okay, impossible when shit. When you do get Absolutely. to when you do get you to jet ski mode, further further. that jet ski mode is going to be that much more sweeter. But that doesn't mean it's not sweet for the person that got handed to them. Yeah. No. What you, you, no. Just, you just overrided yourself. <laughs> no. I, I'm sorry. I would probably be no. just as happy as if I worked my ass off to buy a Ferrari as much as my mom would be like, no, here you go. I, I disagree completely. No, I disagree. No. Obviously, it would be sweeter, okay. but if you have no frame of reference, Let me ask what's you a the question. Difference? Two reckless kids, right? They're twins. They're separated from birth, right? They're the same exact person, all right? Mm-hmm. That's they, racist. All right. Well, <laughs> let's just let's just say let's just say that they are the same person. They act the same way. Now, the only difference is one is born rich, one is born poor. The one kid works his ass off, gets the Camaro, right? The other kid gets the Camaro given to from his parents, right? The same day they get the Camaro, they go driving. Who's getting an accident? You know first? what? I, I will go. Who with the this. fuck is getting an accident first? The rich kid. Yeah, he doesn't right, give a I, fuck. I'll tell you what. I will go with this because. Um, wasn't that a movie? Growing up, I didn't necessarily. No, have that was it. totally a movie. I don't no, think it with was. With Danny DeVito and Mary Kate and Ashley Arnold Olsen. Schwarzenegger. Oh, twins! Yeah, twins. That's totally a movie, man. You stole that but, entire plot and <laughs> no, said I it didn't. in five seconds. Right, less. So I really I, I had experience based on it. that one. <laughs> so like, I grew up didn't necessarily have everything. Mom got a good job and overcompensated. Like, bought me like BMWs and fucking Audis and a Mercedes and shit. Well, I then I bought my first brand new car to where I was paying on and everything. And I can tell you what, uh, from the cars my mom bought me to the car that I bought myself and was paying on, like that shit got detailed weekly. It went through the car wash, everything. The cars my mom bought me, I beat the piss out of. I crashed them. I didn't exactly. give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, just I, like, with, I was I just know, like, you know what? My mom's just going to buy me another one. Fuck it. No, I, 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 I completely agree with that, you man. Like, I, I, you I, when, okay, when I was 16 and uh, my parents are wealthy, we lived in a very wealthy area. Uh, all my friends were getting brand new cars or like a year old car, like new Benzes and stuff like that. I'm I'm at the dinner table like, hey, so what? We're gonna go car shopping? Like, thinking I want a Tahoe or some shit like that, right? And they're like, uh, no, you you've been saving your money, right? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, well, we'll uh, we'll help you with insurance, but you gotta buy your own car, dude. I'm like, what? He's like, you're not going to appreciate it if we just give you something. <laughs> and I hated him at the time. Okay? I hated him at the time. But I've always purchased my own vehicles, and I appreciate them. I agree. But personally, I'd like to go back to my mom buying my cars. <laughs> well, yeah, it would be <laughs> nice. But I, like, had Deut- I had uh, Deut- Toya or what the fuck? Toya? <laughs> I had Toyota buy me a car but, once. Th- see, that's awesome. Here's, and here's the thing. I think that once you've gone through that struggle... Once you have that as as, as part of or your that that car that you once you have that as part register. of your makeup, okay? Once yeah, you, once that you was ha- the car that I like went and I got. It was brand new. It was a 2007 Toyota Corolla, and I just didn't pay the bill. I just kept it for like a good two years <laughs> until they repoed it. Fucking got a brand new car for free. That's, uh, 
<laughs> stupid. That's, that's stupid. But every night that Keem came home, he had to put it in the garage, or else that shit would have been going. But, okay, so, so <laughs> let, 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 let me let me put this For consideration. Free. Okay, so let, let's say you do have it's a struggle. long you, way to work. You've experienced so a struggle because the first initial thing you talked about, you talked about how the person that's never struggled in their life, right? Yeah. Now that you let's say we're thirty, right, and you know our car experience is fifteen years old. Okay, uh, you've had situations where you've gotten a car from your parents or whatever, and then you've also had situations where you've made the payments or saved up money and bought your own car and just this and that, right? Mm-hmm. So my question is this. If you've already gone through the struggle, if someone were to give you right now a brand new H1 Hummer, okay, mm-hmm. you would appreciate it, right? Yeah. You would like it. It's not be like, fuck it, this is free. I can do whatever I want. You're going to be like, this is awesome that I have this now. Right. And also, I think it depends. We're talking about kids. Like, like, we're talking about like if age. If it's a personal level. You're going to appreciate more than just like a random gift. Yeah. yeah. So anyhow, guys, thank you for listening to the Bad Kid Cast. Well, why does everyone shake their head? Like the because time's up. Was what weird, do you mean? The, that was a weird spot. That's to end. a weird spot like, to end. Dude, like, does this the shit. Time's I know. Up. He does, this yeah. is normal. Yeah. So here's oh, the yeah. thing. Here's the thing. The this worst is, is when we're 45 minutes in and he's like, I don't like it. This is fucking. I'm like, what? <laughs> this is not some long ass annoying fucking four hour podcast, bro. Like, and I'm not knocking anyone else I, that does that. But this is a podcast that what is said, everyone has time to hear. Thank you for listening to the Bad but Kid y- Cast. In, in, in mid pump, you, up, in, mi- like, in mid pump, you just pull out no, no, and be like, "We can make this that not was good. stop because <laughs> yeah, like I'm you can't done, mid pump in the middle of the ending." All right, guys, without Keem listening, here, so I'm the bad guy. We, we can make this. We can make the cast continue because Keem feels that he needs to have the last word on it. So as long as we say something right after he says something, the cast will never end. Bye, fuckers. No.